The idea for creating the first house in North America, powered by a 5 kilowatt co-generator, was born not out of design, but out of the desire to investigate change. Vic Mirage and Cheryl Pearson explain the idea of a housing concept directed at altering social and environmental perceptions. It is one way to make a real difference in where the world is headed. And um, the building of the house was a way to set a precedent for things to come. Um, and we wanted the house not just to be sustainable, but to be something to push the envelope and to create a shift in mindset. The sustainability of this home is going to be something that people are going to be able to look at in the future and say, hey, that was an interesting idea way back in 2010. John Contessa, a home builder with Lenico Homes, is not new to cutting-edge housing concepts. He describes what attracted him to this project. Typically in a build, it's all about dollars and cents in terms of, you know, is it viable in terms of cost savings. And with Vic, it didn't matter what the pricing was. It was really all about lessening his footprint on this earth. And that's what this is all about. So by doing something like this, that's sort of a little cutting edge, a little bit different, it stretches the industry and brings it forward. Five, ten years from now, we have this conversation, this will be the norm. But what are some of the features that make this home unique? Both the electricity and heat required for the home are supplied from a natural gas fuel generator that is over 200% more efficient than conventional houses. The easiest analogy for combined heat and power is it works a lot like a car engine. The, the difference is, is uh, instead of turning an axle, we're actually turning a generator and generating electricity. Simultaneously, much like your car, we're capturing that heat off what would be your radiator, but also the exhaust. And so basically, this in this application serves as the furnace on the house, as well as domestic hot water, at the same time as producing electricity. The Cogen system creates electricity for the home through burning natural gas. The heat generated from the engine is captured by a glycol-filled piping system that loops around the engine and then connects to hot water tanks located in the basement of the house. The superheated glycol releases its heat into the water-filled tanks and then returns to the generator to be heated again. The residence is kept warm when the 150 degree water is pumped through in slab pipes within each of the concrete floors of the house. The domestic hot water needs of the home are also supplied by the 150 degree water stored in an adjacent tank. But the ingenuity behind this sustainable home stretches beyond electricity and heat production. From the smallest finishings to the actual structure, it was conceptually designed to leave the smallest environmental footprint possible. The thickness of the wall, we have 14 inch walls, which conventional wall is about 6 inches, which is an R value about thir uh, 20. Uh, this one here is an R value of 50, so it's, it's more than doubled. Um, the, the attic space uh, is usually insulated to about 40, R value of 40, and this house we're very close to 100. We basically knew that this was going to be a green built house, so we had to take that into consideration with every single item that we did uh, look at and select. So the paint is all low VOC paint, so there's no off-gassing involved in that. Um, the countertops are all basically made of concrete, so again, it's a recyclable material made out of sand. The cabinetry uh, doesn't have any off-gassing or formaldehyde within the, um, the actual adhesives that are in the cabinetry. The appliances are all basically low energy appliances. We made sure that things like the toilets, everything was low flushing. Uh, we have water sensor faucets for the kitchen, so basically you can just touch it for on off. So it actually helps with the water flow and not too much coming out at any one given time. And we also tried to implement quite a bit of glass as well too because glass is a natural product obviously made from silica. So the stairwell that we've designed um, basically all has a lot of glass and steel with it as well too. The final result is a home with a conscience. A home that functions not only as a healthy place to raise a family, but as an ongoing source of conversations now and in the future. Conversations towards the evolution of sustainable thinking and technology. The kind of technology we used in this house hasn't been touched yet, and so it's just another way of building out what's possible for people when they're looking at sustainable homes. It was yeah. ultimately to make a statement about 
getting outside the current mindset and creating without any agreement what needs to be created to make a difference in the world. And for people to see that you can have a home that's sustainable and it can be beautiful.